Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Searching CINAHL. This tutorial is designed to give you tips and strategies on how to search CINAHL more effectively. To follow along with the live search demonstration, please visit the Kornhauser Library website now. To access CINAHL, visit the Kornhauser Health Sciences Library website, select Top Resources, and select CINAHL. Alternatively, from the Kornhauser website main page, you may access CINAHL from the Nursing Portal, which contains all nursing-related resources in one place. The Nursing Portal is located towards the center of the main page, and CINAHL is located under Essential Resources for Nursing. Because you are a distance learner, you will be asked to enter your ULink account information to access the database. The main search page in CINAHL contains several search boxes at the top. This is where you will enter your search terms. Below is a large array of limiters. These limiters allow you to refine or limit your search results by categories such as age group or language. Before you start your search, you need to follow three simple steps to guarantee that you will be searching as effectively as possible. Step one is construct a question or focus statement to outline what you are looking for. An example of a question is, does music therapy improve quality of life in cancer patients? Step two is break down your question into key concepts. Our question has three key concepts music therapy, quality of life, and cancer. Step three is identify synonyms. Synonyms or like terms will broaden your search options by giving you more terms to use in your search. Examples of synonyms are neoplasm for cancer and complementary therapy for music therapy. Now you are ready to begin your search in CINAHL. Begin searching CINAHL by entering each of your concepts into the search bar. Make sure to only add one concept per box. At this point, do not select any limiters. A good rule to follow is to only use limiters if you're getting too many results. If you're getting 300 or 3000 results, consider limiting by something simple like age or language. Never ever limit by full text. As a University of Louisville student, you have access to the entire U of L collection of online journals. CINAHL cannot search our entire catalog, so if you select full text as a limit, you will miss out on a large quantity of literature that may be useful. After all your concepts are entered into the search boxes, click search to view your results. As you can see, this search yielded 32 results, and luckily, many of them seem relevant to my question. 32 is a good number to work with. If I had 300 or 3,000 results, I might use the publication slider on the side to limit the results to the most recent materials. Next, we're going to explore why it was so important to come up with synonyms for our terms. Instead of entering our same terms in the search boxes, I'm going to enter complementary therapy instead of music therapy, neoplasm instead of cancer, but I will leave quality of life the same. As you can see, I've more than doubled my results by changing the search terms. This first article does not mention music therapy in the title, but it is about multiple complementary therapies for cancer patients, so it might still be relevant. Let's open the PDF and take a look.
lo and behold, the article does include a section on music therapy. If I had not changed my terms and redone the search with synonyms, I would not have found this article. Now it's time to learn how to save your PDF files. As you can see, many of the results have PDFs linked directly below the citation. This is extremely useful and allows you to open up the PDF immediately without having to click into the article itself. Once you open a PDF, there are two ways to save it. One way is to move your mouse up to the top of the page until this gray bar appears. Click the downwards arrow and you are going to save this article. Rename it something that will identify it individually as a specific article and make sure you know what folder you're saving it into. Then hit save. Another way to save a PDF is to again move your mouse up so you see this dark gray bar at the top. Instead of hitting the arrow, hit the little print icon. Find where it says destination and change your destination until it says Microsoft Print to PDF. This way, when you hit print, it will open up the same save option that was there before. Again, rename the article something that you think will make it unique and memorable, and remember what folder you're saving it in. Consider creating a folder on your desktop or in your documents folder dedicated to saving your files for each project. It can really help save you some time. When I go back to my results, I can see that some of the articles, particularly number four here, do not have the PDF full text attached. That does not mean that we do not own the article. If I find this little find it at UofL box, I can click on it, and this will take us into the library catalog. From here, you will find full text options if they are available here from these two links. Click either of them and it will take you to the PDF of the document. If these links are not available, scroll down and click on Request Item Through Interlibrary Loan. Clicking this link will take you to the Interlibrary Loan login page. You must have a personal Interlibrary Loan account set up before you can request articles or books. To set up an account, go to the Kornhauser Library main page. Go to the boxes on the right side of the page and select the one that says Request a Book or Article. Click the link for first-time users and fill in your relevant information. Please note that your password and username are not tied to your Ulink account. They are a completely separate login. Back to the library catalog, when I am logged into my Interlibrary Loan account, and click the Request Item Through Interlibrary Loan button. All the citation information for the article I am requesting has auto-filled into the request page. All I have to do is scroll down and submit request. In a few days' time, I will receive an email from ILL telling me my article is available. At that point, I will log into my ILL account from the Kornhauser website mains page, and my PDF will be waiting for me in the bottom of the section. If you have any questions about anything discussed during this video or any other library resource or service, please feel free to contact me anytime.